What's up, guys? This is Rich from KME Gamer TV. Today, we're going to be looking at everything you need to know about the GTX 800 series, codename Maxwell. Now, what exactly do these numbers mean? Well, for that, we're going to have to go back in time a little bit. Back in uh, 2012, uh, NVIDIA came out with the Kepler architecture, also known as the GTX 600 series. Typically, a NVIDIA will come out with the reference card design as shown above. And then uh, later, different manufacturers will come out with their own uh, aftermarket cooler versions, uh, usually allowing for higher overclocks. And if you're really looking for power, then they usually make a liquid cooling version uh, designed for a custom setup. Now, the Kepler GK104 chip uh, was also used in the 700 series. Now, these launched in mid to late 2013, and for the most part, uh, you saw anywhere from 5 to 15% increases over the 600 series. And again, using the same chip architecture. Now, there was also a more powerful version of the Kepler, known as the GK110, otherwise known as the GTX Titan. The Titan, although the same chip uh, infrastructure, saw a few different upgrades itself. The Titan is essentially the GK104 uh, with a little faster processor, more memory, and a much higher compute power ability. Now, they also came out with an upgraded version known as the Titan Black, recognized because its Titan letters are black. And the newest one to the table is the Titan Z, released this year is basically two GK110 chips, and a whopping $3,000 is designed basically for 4K play. So the successor to the Kepler would be Maxwell, and this is first seen in the GeForce GTX 750 of February 2014. One month later in March, uh, NVIDIA started unveiling their 800 mobile series graphics processing units. As you can see from this list, approximately half of the 800 mobile graphics units are actually Maxwell. The higher end 870 and 880 still use the Kepler architecture. The GTX 800 series desktop GPUs are set to be Maxwell chip architecture, GM204 chip. Now the first Maxwell cards, uh, the GM107 chip, their prime focus was power efficiency. So, allowing for a much lower TDP per card. Now, according to NVIDIA, thanks to better programmability of each block within a SIM and higher utilization rate of each stream processor, the company increased the peak performance per stream processor by 35% when compared to the stream processor and its chip built with Kepler architecture. So, in theory, these new cards, we should see at least a 35% increase in power. But I don't know if I would hold my breath to that. Now, there are a couple things that we do know for sure. Well, almost for sure. They will be a Maxwell GM204 chip. They will be built on the same 28 nanometer process as the Kepler series. We also know the die size of 300 millimeters squared. Most likely will have a 256-bit memory bus, and they are set for a late September or October launch this fall. Now, a lot of this information was confirmed uh, as Gigabyte decided to do an interview with the Chinese company. Now, they didn't reveal anything as far as performance, but they did say that there will be more information coming at either Gamescom or an exclusive event sometime thereafter. Now, what is the new GTX 800 series cards going to look like? Now, so far, the only accidental confirmation we have is that the Gigabyte G1 will look similar to what their Titan cooler. However, I would expect the reference card design to look similar to what the Titan enclosure design looks now. However, this is purely speculation. One would also expect that with the next generation would come a next generation look. For example, the dramatic difference between, say, the GTX 670 and 770. Now, I personally hope that they do switch it up as it is a new 
generation, so it should have a new look to go with it. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think they should change it up? What kind of things would you like to see added to it? Now, I know I covered a lot of information in this video. There's a lot of uh, numbers and titles and stuff. And uh, if you feel I missed something or if you got any questions, anything that was in this video, please feel free to comment or you can always personal message me or contact me on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash KMEGTV. Well, that about wraps it up. I want to thank you for checking us out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps. Please like if you like, and uh, if you want more awesome videos like this in the future, feel free to subscribe. This is Rich from KME Gamer TV. Until next time.